It's your boy Louis Tricks the Silva, TRKZ in the middle, aka Halle Berry because my handle's so beautiful, aka Elvis because I keep the block rocking and rolling, aka Snacks because I take all your goodies. Well, when I first fell in love with basketball, I'm sure like everybody in the early 90s growing up, Michael Jordan was an inspiration. Um, the whole 90s era with the Chicago Bulls. My weakness, obviously, was me being out of shape, being short, being not that fast, but I had an ability and uh, a, an extra skill set in ball handling control. Coming in, in, you know, metropolitan area like New Jersey and New York, and it's all about personal, personality, nothing's, you know, given to you. You have to take what's yours and uh, keep proving yourself. So that was kind of the start. Michael Jordan was the inspiration, and um, ball handling was, I guess, the, the motivation to try to get me on the court where I would feel confident. I was mostly intrigued with who culture and the whole philosophy of this game is my life. I mean, I, that's how I live today, and everything I've done is related to basketball being my life. Growing up, being bullied, being abused, people telling me what I couldn't do, I actually use that as motivation, and this past year became a, an author of a children's book entitled The Boy Named Boo, where you know, I kind of used the negatives of basketball, being overweight, not wanting to go outside, uh, and it was loosely based on my life. A boy named Boo, Boo was a nickname my mother gave me, Puka Bear, but she used to call me Boo, everybody home calls me Boo. So it was about an overweight kid who didn't have any motivation and picked up the game of basketball, found the basketball, used all these drills and used it to try to motivate and build his character from something that he was feeling within himself he was becoming good at. So it was the first thing that he can identify himself as progression, he was progressing. So most of, most of my tattoos, you know, people, their first impression when they see it, they think you're some type of gangbanger. I get stopped all the time. Cops want to see paperwork because they think it's, they always associate tattoos with something negative. Um, I'm Roman Catholic. All my tattoos have a religious theme. God gave me all these blessings and as much as he could give you, he could take away overnight. I was working at a sneaker store when Nike had called. I was working at, I think it was Athlete's Foot in New Jersey. The phone rang, you know, to get my opportunity to uh, audition in Kaufman Studios in Astoria, Queens. And that was my break. But that time before, after graduating to when that phone call happened, and it was March 16, 2001, I'll never forget. The, those whole three, four, five months, like in between, I was just so lost. I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. I had just graduated school. You know, teammates were going off to the NBA, Indiana Pacers, Al Harrington. Um, and I'm just saying, you know, what am I gonna do with myself? So I kind of tattooed myself with Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ in my forearms to know that, you know what, every time I look down and my head's down and I feel like I'm soaking or, or weeping or down on myself, first thing I look at is some of the most powerful things in my life. 